myocarditis among adolescent males 16 to 24 after taking your vaccine? So thank you for the question, Senator. First, let me say we can deep deal with safety and we're working closely to, with the CDC and the FDA. To Pretty much a yes or no. Is there a higher incidence of myocarditis among boys 16 to 24 after they take your vaccine? The data I've shown, actually, I've seen, sorry, from the CDC actually shown that there is less myocarditis for people who get the vaccine versus who get COVID infection. You're, you're saying that for ages 16 to 24 among males who take the COVID vaccine, their risk of myocarditis is less than people who get the disease. That is my understanding. That is not true. And I'd like to enter into the record six peer-reviewed papers from the Journal of Vaccine, the Annals of Medicine, that say the complete opposite of what you say. I also spoke with your president just last week, and he readily acknowledged in private that, yes, there is increased risk of myocarditis. The fact that you can't say it in public is quite disturbing. So, Senator Paul is uh, convinced and... Um he submitted the papers to support that. I'm not going to go into it now, but the evidence there is of a causal link. So a bit disingenuous there of the Pfizer Australia response. Um, we closely monitor all such events and collect relevant information to share with the global regulator, regulator authorities. Do you share it with the regulator authorities? Fair enough, but why not share it with us? Anyway, does that answer the question of uh, Senator Rennick? Absolutely not. Ethic response in my view. There's hundreds of millions of doses of the original and Omicron adapted by bivalent Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccines administered globally. Yawn. More than 4.6 billion dose vaccine doses delivered. And more than 4.6 billion vaccine delivered overall. The benefit risk profile of our vaccine is well established and remains positive for not answering the question. Not answering the question. Answer the question. Um, to date, hundreds of millions of people around the world have received our vaccines and serious adverse events that are unrelated to the vaccine are likely to occur at a similar rate as they would be in the general population. Really? Well, that's not what Senator Paul's uh, comment that we've just watched said. Did that answer the question? Again, no, they're not answering the question. Why don't they just answer the question? I think I can answer the question. <laughs> Um, which I will do in a minute, but uh, let's carry on looking at their response. If you are still uh, maintaining control, as I'm struggling to do. It's important though that every medicine and vaccine has side effects. Wow, thank you for telling us that. We weren't aware of... Don't be sarcastic, I was aware of that already. However, all approved medicines and vaccines are rigorously tested in clinical trials to ensure the side effects are manageable and benefits outweigh the risks, manageable. So the side effects are all uh, manageable. Um, tell that to some of the people that we've interviewed on my videos that have been disabled. And uh, if you think all side effects of vaccines are manageable, tell that to the bereaved. He's got a point. How can they say it? they're all manageable? That's right. Did they answer the question? No. Let me know if you disagree, but I don't think they answered the question. All right, to cut it all out in a nutshell, what's happening is the Pfizer and all the other vaccines we got for the COVID jab, so it's having some side effects are having, some people making some people cripple, some people are dying from it, especially males. The heart, the bag around the heart, it attacks that and it gives them a massive heart attack. I'd hate to find out because my uncle had this vaccine, I'd hate to find out that was the cause of his heart attack. Now, there's plenty of people all over the world that are dropping dead lately, and I say that respectively, because of the COVID. The uh, all-party parliamentary group in the UK estimated that only 2% of adverse reactions are potentially being reported. Um, but they don't seem to mention that. OK, let's move on. This is still this is still their answer. It's unbelievable. Still haven't answered the question. We put a no on that one. No, no, they didn't answer the question. In other words, what he's trying to say in a nutshell, there is a bit of covering up here on people that are passing away because of the vaccine. They rushed the vaccine through and they didn't see what the complications were going to be after they jabbed thousands upon thousands upon people. What a mess Australia's in. What a mess. I'm disgusted to be an Australian person.